Hey guys, Linda here. I was just reading a very disturbing article. And um, I'll show you the article. And then I'll, I'm going to tell you my opinion as I go along with this. And then you tell me down below what you think. Because we are really, something's really wrong now. Watch this. Okay. Let's see. California prison doctors sterilized women to cut welfare costs. Now, California prison doctors sterilized almost 150 women over a four-year period because they didn't want the state to have to provide welfare funding to any of the children they might have in the future, one of the top doctors admitted this week. So, so obviously these women that are in prison didn't commit murder or anything if they're going to be released from prison. So, you know, we don't know the crimes they've committed, yet they were forcibly sterilized. Um, so I actually have a problem with this. Now, California taxpayers spent $147,460 on the procedures between 1997 and 2010, over a 10-year period. That isn't a huge amount of money. Dr. James Hendrick, the OBGYN at Valley State Prison for Women, told the Center for Investigative Reporting, compared to what you save in welfare paying for these unwanted children as they are procreated more. Heinrich's argument recalls progressive Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr., who declared three generations of imbeciles are enough. In the opinion he wrote for the majority in the Buck v. Bell in 1927, in which the Supreme Court ruled that women could be forcibly sterilized. This is getting scary, isn't it? We have seen more than once that the public welfare may call upon the best citizens for their lives, Holmes right. It would be strange if it could not call upon those who already sat the strength of the state for these lesser sacrifices, often not felt to be such by those concerned in order to pre prevent our being swamped with incompetence. Unlike Carrie Beck, these women agreed to the sterilization, but only because they felt pressured by the doctors. I figured that that's just what happens in prison. That's the best kind of doctor you're going to get, a former inmate told uh, CIR. The doctors f flouted a regulation requiring state approval for each procedure. As the prison medical manager told CIR, she signed off on sterilization as long as Heinrich documented it as a medical emergency. Now, here's, here's my problem with this. Um, because these women are in prison, and obviously they're going to get out because that's their their justification, you know. They that they, they so obviously their crimes I don't think might have been that bad. And I was thinking about criminals. Now, who are the worst criminals I can think of? And why aren't there? If if we're going to sterilize people, make sure that their apples don't fall far from their tree. And I was thinking about the people in D.C. who work in the District of Criminals, some of the biggest murderers, and who work for our alphabet governments, the CIA, the FBI, for the mercenary groups. You know, are we sterilizing them? Even the men. I'm talking about even the men need to be sterilized so they can't infect humanity with any more of their spawn. So I find this deeply disturbing, but what I found more disturbing was, and we're going back to that, if, you know, if you're a bad parent, then everybody in your family is, or if someone's mentally ill, you know, this happened back, back in the 1900s where they were sterilizing women. If somebody was born with Down syndrome or, or something, they, they decided that, well, we have to sterilize everybody in the family. Um, they do the they they force to sterilize Native Americans, African Americans, and poor whites. I mean that's who they picked on. Now I was reading the comments. Let me go here. It'll take just a minute. And this disturbed me more than anything. California did something right for a change. Leave it alone. What? This is a great idea. Let's do it to men too. Um. I mean, 
this is this is excellent. This should be expanded nationwide. So some people are against it, but a lot of people that are for it. Um, I mean, they, they, these people don't understand what's happened in the past. I mean, we're throwing people in jail for whistleblowing, for God's sakes. I mean, should we? Does that mean we sterilize them? This is this is insane, and and they're doing this, and I'm sure this will go. Usually, you know, in a lot of states, California is kind of a test state, and if it happens there, it may start happening in other states. And I say we put an end to this now. You don't just forcibly sterilize women or trick them or pressure them into it. And and I can imagine. I don't know. I've never been to prison, but I've heard that you know it's it's not a good place to be. I had a friend who was in there. And I imagine they're pressuring women to do it is probably just that. You do it or or you're going to go in the hole or something, you know, or we'll rape you. I mean, you hear about this on, on a constant basis now, women being raped in prison. And what about men? I mean, you know, they, they don't sterilize men who have raped women and then get out of prison and rape women again. You know, there's nothing talked about about men who have raped women. And I, I don't advocate... For anybody being forcibly sterilized unless it's just an extreme case of maybe some psychopath who goes and rapes children um, and I don't even know then if, if there's some other way you could just control them I don't know about this forcibly doing anything to people when they're serving their time I don't think you can do this I mean if any one of these ladies had tossed their baby in a garbage can or something that would be murder I don't think they'd be getting out of jail so th this seemed to be women who were going to be getting out of jail so they wouldn't reproduce imbeciles or, you know, unwanted, you know, that type. You know, people like me and you who may speak the truth because to me, each child that is born could be the one that could save the world regardless of who they came from. You never know. I mean, so I don't believe in abortion or or this forcible ster sterilization. or I just don't believe anyone has the right to take another person's life or prevent another person from procreating. That That is not the judgment of the human race. We were all born to participate in, in the creation of our world. And it seems like the psychopaths can spawn as many of their psychopathic children as they want and they all seem to like kings and queens look at them and look what's happened to our world we really need to crush the empire system get back to humanity and stop some of this insanity i mean they're talking about infanticide in some of these places where kill two-year-old children because you know you're not a really good parent and this child is not a service to humanity well how would you know i mean so just leave me your opinion down below it's just, this just kind of disturbed me, and I think, this is just wrong. I mean, it is. And how do they know the women won't go out and get a good job, or maybe create something, or, or figure something out while they're sitting in prison, and, and say, hey, I've got an idea. i got a way I'm going to start serving, serving people. I'm going to go start feeding homeless people, you know, and or something. You don't know what can happen. So, um... You know, I, I hate their prejudgment. It's like a pre-crime thing here. And um, I think it's awful. And I just would like you to leave your opinion below. Um, I don't feel good today, so I'm, I, this video didn't come out that good. I apologize. But peace, love, and truth to everybody. And yes, I had a granddaughter, but she was born on the 5th of July, if anybody was wondering. Darn, I was hoping the 4th. But anyway, uh, peace, love, and truth to everyone, and I love you all.